Tis the season for holiday parties. And if you're looking to wow your guests, well, we are raising a glass with some wine and cheese pairings. Paula joins us from the Cheese Corner. Welcome. Good morning. And Jonathan is back. He's a local sommelier. Happy to have you with us. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, I love this collaboration between the two of you. Thank you for uh, bringing in your homework assignment that Absolutely. we gave you. <laughs> we asked them to pair some, some wine and cheese together because I can't tell you how many times I've either hosted or been to something and there's just this mismatch, right? And I say, oh, put it a variety of cheeses, variety of wines, and kind of let people figure it out and choose what they like. But you can really impress when you know what works and what pairs together. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So Jonathan, uh, we have three pairings to start with. Uh, you are gonna pair the wine, and Paula, I wanna start with the cheese that you're yep. gonna highlight first. So tell us about this first cheese. Okay, the first cheese we're highlighting today is called Melinda May. It's from Mystic Cheese Company in Mystic, Connecticut. And this cheese comes from milk and the uh, local farm in Exeter, Rhode Island called Emma Acres. Um, they have 17 Jersey cows there and they it's family run. They won uh, best best uh, dairy farm in the in Rhode Island a few years ago. So it's gonna and, be good. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna pair this first with um, Jonathan. Absolutely. Well okay, if I may go. Best part of Monday morning. Yes, mm -hmm. cheers. Cheers. It's not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> cheers. What is this one being paired with? So uh, we're pairing with Jonathan Edwards uh, Pinot Gris, uh, locally grown in Ooh. Connecticut. And uh, as far as the crow flies from where we are in South County, it's only about eight miles. So local cheese, local wine. The one thing I love about wine and cheese pairing is trying to match their energies. Okay. So this is very light and creamy. This has... This very, one, it's this one here? Yes. Okay. Yes. And this has uh, no oak on it, so really nice and acidic. It's got a lot of honey notes to it. I love mm. serving soft cheeses with honey, uh, especially the okay. spicy honey. So you get some heat, you get some acid, and there's a lot of um, just really richness, even though there's no uh, oak on here. Hey, I think it tastes great. All Delicious. right, we're gonna move on Very to our next pairing. Maybe white wine isn't your thing, okay? So we're gonna move on to a red, which Jonathan tell us about in just a moment. But how about this next cheese, Paula? Okay. We're going to pair this red wine with a cheese from Spain. It's a um, Grand Reserva Manchego. Ooh, love that. It won Best Cheese in the World in uh, 2012. And- I'm gonna take two bites of this then. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's, a, it's in, like I said, a local, a very small uh, farm in Spain. Beautiful. And what do you suggest for something like this? Uh, so again, I like pairing things with countries. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a Spanish wine. But I also like taking everybody out of their comfort zone in during the holidays, okay. especially with cheese, because we're going out of our comfort zone anyway a lot of times with cheese. So this is uh, Spanish wine, but it's Petit Verdot. So it's actually a French variety. It's very rich, very heavy. And there's a little bit of a grape called Tanat, which oh. is usually found in France and Uruguay. But it's got a lot of tannin. It's really big because everybody goes, I like big red wines. Yeah, bold. Everybody in, yeah. around the table in the holidays. Mm -hmm. But everybody drinks the wines that they're comfortable with. Right. And sometimes you need to not be so comfortable <laughs> and try something different and a little bit unique. And what was, because I, I am that same way. I'll say, you got any Cab Sav, or right? Exactly, like, you exactly. go to your go-tos. And what was this one again? So it's a called Petit Verdot. And Petit, Petit Verdot, Verdot is usually blended with Cabernet Sauvignon in, um, in Bordeaux grapes, uh, mm -hmm. Bordeaux wines. So it's something that flavor profile we can get our arms around. We understand it. It's got red fruit. Mm. It's rich. It's got a lot of nice acidity to it as well. And this cheese, especially with the large uh, salt crystals, yeah, really kind of needs some of that tannin because it breaks the salt and the, the creaminess of this cheese breaks apart the tannin. Nice. Well, I'm two for two on your yes, selections, yes, Paula. Sure, so great, can we great. go three for three and round sure, it out here? Sure. So our third cheese that we're going to highlight today is from Rogue River Blue mm -hmm. from Rogue Creamery in Oregon. This cheese actually won the best cheese in the world um, award in 2019, being the first mm -hmm. cheese in the United States to get that award. Usually a, a European cheese does. This one um, won, and it's definitely so, fantastic. Mm. A um, great blue cheese. Yep. Easy to see on the plate. Yes. Wow, it has bold flavor. Very so what bold. do you do here? So classically, and sometimes as much as I like taking so people out of their comfort zone, we like pairing yeah. things that are classic, and they're mm -hmm. classic for a reason because they just go really well, and they've always gone really well. So we're serving a late bottle vintage port by Teller Flaggate. Okay. 2016, which was a killer vintage. Uh, they also made it a vintage port. The difference is, mm. is that this is aged longer in barrel compared to vintage port, so you can drink it right out of the bottle. You don't have to age it longer. You don't have to decant it. You can just When drink you buy it. it, it's ready. Ready to go. Yeah. Wow. One thing, too, is a lot of berries, a lot of chocolate in there. It's great for dessert. 
Mm. Blue cheese, it's usually served towards the end. Okay. So you want something that can be sort of substituted for dessert. Not everybody likes to do sweets these days, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's watching calories and sugar. and So there's a little bit of sugar in the in the port, but not in the cheese, so you can balance it a bit. Yum. Um, and Paula, can you help us create a cheese board or cheese plate or, or even some other things, to, you know, even just the right cracker Absolutely. if we go and visit you? Yes, we have um, in the cheese corner in Westerly, we have about 150 different cheeses that you can come in and actually taste. We will... Nice educate you on what pairs well with it mm -hmm. and we even have a liquor store Dick's World of Wines right next door so we actually make recommendations to which wines that will pair with one stop shop next it. it really okay. is nice well cheers to cheers. all of you cheers. to the holidays to, the holidays. to wine and cheese cheers. you're gonna cheers. love that yeah. we have the exact pairings that we talked about up on our website happy holidays